Riviera here with Jeff Gross from Lucadia, California, whose greatest regret in life was a job interview he had back in the 80s. Why is that your greatest regret? What happened? Well, Meredith, I, I was just out of college and I went into this interview and I just got hammered and hammered and hammered with these technical questions. It's kind of like being on a firing squad. And I see the guy intelligent a few years later. Oh, so you didn't get the job? I, I didn't think, get the right. job. No, I okay. didn't get the job. Uh, it turned out to be Bill Gates. <laughs> The interviewer was Bill Gates. Yeah. So had you gotten that job? Many this years ago. Yeah, many was the, years ago. So the company wasn't even public at that point. It was, no, it was less than 100 people at the time. So. You might be a, a billionaire, billionaire yourself. Could have been a billionaire. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I can't do that, but I could. How does, you know what? How does millionaire sound? This is not half bad. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, right, Jeff? Yeah. Actually, you're only nine questions away from the million. You're at 2,000. And you have all three lifelines left. You're 50-50, phone a friend, and our new enhanced Ask the Audience. And if you get to the $25,000 mark, what happens, Jeff? I get to switch the question lifeline. You do, our newest lifeline. And for all your efforts, it's not a billion, but it is a Capital One check for a million. That would be and very nice. Thank you very much. For $4,000, Jeff, in which of these sports can players make a mistake called a foot fault? Tennis, baseball, golf, soccer? Uh, Meredith, I know this one. That's uh, tennis. Final answer. Good start, Jeff. You got $4,000. Going for $8,000. What type of poem often consists of an octave followed by a sestet? Haiku, limerick, ode, sonnet. Okay. I'm really feeling, no, I'm feeling strongly about this. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say sonnet. Fine. Final answer. Sonnet, you have it for eight thousand. You okay? Uh, nurse. No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Going for 16000 and you still have all of your lifelines, Jeff. Thank you. In 1994, Oliver North fell less than three percentage points shy of winning the U.S. Senate seat of what state? Kansas, North Carolina, Virginia, Nebraska. Oliver North. I'm going to go for it. It's uh, Virginia. Final? Final answer. You said yesterday you have this mantra that you are going to be the best millionaire player yet. And you're doing a pretty good job of it. You got yeah. You know, that Bill Gates was stupid. He you was. Know? <laughs> He had this one lucky thing, hey, but let yeah, me go. Yeah. Going for twenty-five thousand. In March two thousand four, rebel leader Guy Philippe declared himself the military chief of what nation? Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, Panama, Haiti. I'm pretty sure I know this one too, and um, I'm going to say Haiti. Final. Final answer. You are good, Jeff. Yes. Yes. Sure, I could be I could be wrong, but I don't think we've had anyone so far this season who's gotten to twenty five thousand and had all the lifelines still Excellent. there. That's oh, I'm being told in my ear one other person, but still not bad. Thank you very okay. much. Yeah. Not bad. Now you have that new lifeline. Switch the question, well, that's okay? Right. That's so if you have a question, you don't know the answer. You want to use that lifeline and switch it out. We'll, we'll switch it for another question, okay? Excellent. Thank you, Meredith. Are you ready to play? I am. Okay, I let's, think so. Yeah. Let's see the $50,000 <laughs> question. Often said to be the resting place of Noah's Ark, Mount Ararat lies in what country? Egypt, Turkey, Lebanon, Syria. 
Well, the gut's been working for me so far, Meredith. Um, I'm gonna say turkey. Final? Final answer. I, I don't know if this is reckless playing or incredibly intelligent. You have $50,000. live the life of a best-selling romance novel. I just want to spend time with the one I love. For people living with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, Humira is the latest treatment. I don't want to be a famous artist. I just want to live to paintbrush with less pain. Humira relieves the pain and fatigue of rheumatoid arthritis in the majority of people while keeping it from getting worse. I don't want to win a prize for literature. I just want to teach my third graders how to read. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, so tell your doctor right away if you get an infection, are prone to infections, or have ever had tuberculosis. Do not start Humira if you have an infection, such as an open sore or the flu. Other serious and sometimes fatal infections and tuberculosis have been reported in clinical trials. Rare cases of nervous system disorders and lymphoma have been reported. Common side effects are injection site pain and reactions, headache, and rash. Enjoy more normal living. Talk with your rheumatologist about Humira. We are back with Jeff Gross from Lucadia, California. I mentioned before that you, uh, uh, on yesterday's show, talked about this mantra that you have, that you prepared. For this audience, can you share it? Yeah, uh, when I found out I was going to be a contestant, uh, I really wanted to psych myself up and try to do as well as I can. And I'd look in the mirror and say 10 times every day, I'm going to answer all 15 questions correctly, I'm going to win a million dollars, and I'm going to become the best contestant you all have ever seen. Well, you know what? <laughs> so far, I've heard about that, the power of positive thinking. I think and I, so far, it's really working. It's, it's, it is. <laughs> is this everything you thought it was going to be? Oh, uh, and more. And, and more. more? I, never, I never thought I'd make it this far without using a lifeline. That's just, well, you're... <laughs> Most people don't. That's why you probably didn't. Yeah. You're at 50,000. You're just four away from the million, and you have all four lifelines. Are you ready to play? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, let's go. For $100,000, Jeff, what is the first name of Agatha Christie's spinster sleuth, Miss Marple? Jane, Abigail, Edith, Beatrice. Edith Marple. Beatrice Marple. <sighs> Meredith, I, th I think I'm going to use a lifeline. Okay. Um, I think this fine audience is very literate, and I'm going to ask them this question. Okay, audience, Jeff is looking for some help. If you're ready, vote now. Not great from this audience. Thirty-nine percent believe Abigail. Thirty-seven percent. Right behind that is Jane. Fourteen for Edith and ten percent for Beatrice. Let's check in with the AOL instant message audience and see. Thirty-six. Is, they also agree it's Abigail, but these numbers are not wonderful. Thirty-six for Abigail. Right behind with Beatrice with twenty-five. Twenty for Jane. Nineteen for Edith. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think those numbers are strong enough for me to go with this, and I don't have any particular inkling, so uh, I'm going to phone a friend. Okay, who would you like to call? I'd like to call Todd. Todd? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get Todd on the line. Hello? Todd? Yeah. Hey, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Meredith? I'm great, but Jeff is even better. You would oh, not that's great. Oh, he's got $50,000, Todd. That's great, yes. And he's going for 100000 and he just needs you to help him out here. Oh, I hope I can help him. Okay, so does he. Jeff, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Todd, what is the first name of Agatha Christie's spinster sleuth, Miss Marple? Is it Jane, Abigail, Edith or Beatrice. You have 19 seconds. I believe it's I believe I believe it's Jane, but let me let me think about it. How sure? How sure do you think you are? Um I'm I'm 100% sure it's Jane Marple. Thanks, Todd. You Thank you. you rock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That 
was second in this audience was Jane. That's my brother. Yeah. Oh, he's your brother. He's my brother, and he, he knows he knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know everything. He knows everything. Yeah. Are you uh, suggesting that the audience doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, I'm Jane's sure a close you know a second there, right? Yeah. It, yeah. You know, you're going to go with him? You're going to go with the audience? No, I, I trust my brother, and uh, I'm going to say Jane. And final? Final answer, yeah. Your brother's right. <laughs> You are now three away. You have $100,000. I know you're a single guy. Yeah. Okay, no kids. You're mortgage loan consultant. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money. Have you th thought about what you want to spend it on? Well, I think the first thing we're going to do is take Todd and the rest of my phone of friends on a hell of a party trip. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, my mother has always been a, a constant source of support for me, and she's an artist, and I want to uh, send her on a trip to northern Italy so she can take a few months and just paint it. So, Thank you. And come on, something for you. There's got to be something for you you want. Oh, well, well I always said that if I, if I got on and won money, I'd first thing I'd do is drink beer and chase women. <laughs> <laughs> I've done enough of that in my life. I need to do some more. You know what I think you should do? <laughs> Switch it to drink champagne and chase uh, women. Yeah, okay, okay that's better. <laughs> and when we come back, we're going to see if you can make it to $250,000 wow. and be two away from the million. Awesome. I got a good feeling about you. Thank we'll you be right much. back. Great. It is the season. <laughs> <laughs> well, which card are you using? Those rates are brutal. The new Prime Lock card from Capital One. It's set at Prime, so you never have to worry about your interest rate again. What's in your wallet? contestant we have Jeff Gross from Lucadia, California came here, you said you felt you'd missed out on the opportunity of a lifetime when you didn't get that job with yeah. Bill Gates yeah. and look at you now that's another right. opportunity of a lifetime and you are certainly doing it that's right. you really are, $100,000 two lifelines left I hope you're feeling really good about yourself oh, right now, I feel fabulous Meredith Thank you, you know that much. positive thinking it's working. truly, truly pays off and what the audience doesn't know is, you told me that each time you see these questions come up, you have an inner voice that's fighting with you. It right? is, it is. You, th you think, when I first see the question, sometimes I think I know the answer, but then there's another voice that comes up and says, no, it's this other one, it's this other one. So I have to beat it down and say, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you've been effectively doing yeah, exactly. that because... Exactly. Like, all those doubts. You hold that sucker down because we've got to go for a million right dollars. Okay. As I said, 100000 going for 250000 three away from a million. You still have the 50-50 and switch the question. Are you ready to play? Yes, I am. $250,000. What ex-president wrote about his love for fishing in the book Fishing for Fun and to Wash Your Soul? Harry Truman, Richard Nixon, Herbert Hoover, Dwight Eisenhower. That's a great question. And I have absolutely no idea. So I'm going to uh, switch the question. Switch the question? Okay, let's see what the answer is. The computer will show us. Just so you know. Good. Herbert Hoover was a fisherman, all right? And you know that now. And now the computer is going to randomly switch out this question for another one worth 250000 what is the highest note on a standard 88-key piano? C, B-flat, F-sharp, A. Are you a musician? Just enough to know the answer to this question. Um, the answer is C, the note C, letter A. It's the letter A? Uh, it's, it's the note, the C note. 
the letter A is the answer. The one in the upper left-hand corner. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That one. Okay. Is that one? This one right here, Is that one a final? That's my final answer. Now you can be a part of Millionaire's Ask the Audience Lifeline by using AOL Instant Messenger. To sign up, go to MillionaireTV.com. Fiber Choice, the chewable fiber supplement with four grams of fiber in each dose. That's four times the amount you get from fiber caplets. Try sugar-free Fiber Choice with zero net carbs. Hey! Da, 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 da. Woo! Bugles. Da, da, da. Woo! Crispy cones of golden da, 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 da. corn. Hey! Woo! Hey! Other snacks are pointless. <laughs> Don't let Anna have all the fun. Go to TrimSpa.com and order TrimSpa X32 today. Also available at fine retailers everywhere. Jeff, this is your Capital One check for $250,000. This is yours. But I, I hope you like confetti, because if you get the next two questions right, the confetti's going to come pouring oh, down, down, and people are going to be screaming. Yeah, absolutely. I'm overwhelmed by this. How are you feeling? It, is it real to you? Well, it, it, it's funny, because it wasn't at the beginning, and then it started to become real, and now at this level, the, the reality's just left. It's, it's, it's not real now. <laughs> but you said you were going to do it. You said, you know, from the beginning, you said, I'm going to be the best player. I'm going to win the million dollars. I'm going to get the 15 questions. I hope I'm on autopilot now <laughs> to do that. So. Well, I, I got to tell you, the reality, this is real. This is yeah. real money that's yours. Thank Again, you. you're two questions away from the million, and you have the 50-50, which is great. And I know, though, that you'd much just as soon have, instead of 250000 I think you'd rather have 125000 in two dollar bills. Absolutely. Is that right? I love those two dollar bills. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's a little weird, okay? Yeah, I'm going to go it. there. You're just a fan <laughs> of two dollar bills. Well, it's, it's one of those things that's like, why doesn't it circulate? It makes no sense. It looks the same as any other currency. It feels the same as any other currency. So I, I do my part. I get a bunch of them from the bank, and I spend them. And that's it, actually a great conversation starter. People smile when they get them, and it's... Uh, it's, it's, it's well, it's, you're on your way, honey. Yeah. You definitely are. <laughs> 125,000 of them, yeah. Are, are, you, uh, are you ready to go for $500,000? E yes, I am, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> After nitrogen and oxygen, what is the third most abundant gas in air? Xenon, argon, helium, neon. Oh, I was afraid of this. This is a question that I have an inkling about. Well, that would be a good thing, then, right? It, it is a good thing. The question is, how good of an inkling is it? Are the voices in your head going right now? Oh, I can, I'm stuffing them down. Just trying to, <laughs> trying to find the one clear voice. I have a very strong feeling of what the answer is, but I can't do this without using the 50-50, so I'll, I'll use the 50-50. You're going to use 50-50. Yeah. Okay, yeah. computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Is yours still there? Yes. Okay. Yes. I want to remind you, if you do miss it, Jeff, you would go down to $25,000, okay? If you get it right, you'll be at half a million dollars. God, I'm about 80% sure, too. This is the thing, 75, 80% sure. This is so much money. Is that the conflict in your head right now? Uh, they're, um, yeah, neon. <laughs> it's fighting. Well, sometimes those little voices are right. <laughs> sometimes they're wrong. Sometimes it means you're crazy, you know? <laughs> Definitely been accused of being that, so. Oh, well, there it is. I don't know. 
Oh, my God. I don't know what to tell you. It's a... It's a tough call. If you get it, it's half a million dollars. That's an amazing you know? amount But if you of miss money. it, it's a amount of tremendous amount of money that you've yeah, lost. Well, fewer two dollar bills, or... Yeah. Um... I really wish it wasn't neon. That was the other choice. I may regret this decision, but I'm going to go for it. it it's, it's a lot of money to risk, but this is the type of question that I was just scared of, something that I really thought I had an inkling as to what the answer was. And to be in this position, it's just, it's just incredible. But I'm, I'm almost positive it's Argon. And i got to just make sure I'm not talking myself into this. Okay. Say Argon. Fine. Final answer. <laughs> I, 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 I am so oh. sorry that no, oh. that Bill Gates didn't appreciate oh. what he could have had. Details matter, so I cook with Swanson broth, made with real chicken and just the right amount of vegetables and seasonings. Swanson broth. Honeysuckle white, because great taste is everything. I'm Hal Clement. Tomorrow, watch as Jeff goes for the million, and just before the show, we'll give you a sneak peek at the million-dollar question. Tomorrow on 10 News Live at 6:30. Be sure to join us.